Hello guys, welcome back to my channel. For those of you who are new, welcome. I am Ongil Zalala. So today I bring you good news. It just warms my heart to hear these positive things coming out of Africa. It's just a really great feeling to report on good things, you know, once in a while. So let's start. Today's topic is going to be Senegal and Ghana. Senegal has developed kits that cost one dollar. Just one dollar dollar and you can either get tasted with giving blood or uh, saliva so they've done that and they're rapidly producing and they're making sure that everybody gets access to that and gets tasted and so they're doing a really great job watch this video and come back Senegal is doing what most countries count testing everyone symptoms or not entering a health center for the novel coronavirus it has no shortage of testing kit thanks to this lab at the Institut Pasteur Researchers are developing a $1 quick diagnostic kit originally made to test for dengue fever. Patients drop blood or saliva onto the devices and wait for a bloodline to appear, like a pregnancy test, explains researcher Amadou Sal. There is no need for a highly equipped lab. It's a simple test that can be done anywhere. The idea is to rapidly produce 2 to 4 million kits, not just for us, but for African countries, so that we can detect and isolate patients quickly. With only 50 ventilator machines for 16 million people, Senegalese engineers are using a 3D printing machine to produce more. While imported ventilators cost $16,000, this one is just $60. Senegal is counting the cost and it's paying off. More than a month into the outbreak, the small West African nation suffered only two deaths, with most patients treated healed. Senegal has the largest rate of recovery in patients infected with the coronavirus in Africa, the third in the world ahead of countries like the United States and France. And while it has a tiny health budget compared to those countries, it has a wealth of experience in dealing with infectious diseases. And outbreaks. So isn't that a proud moment? I am so happy. Well done Senegal. We're very proud of you. And I heard the doctor say it's not just for their country. They want to distribute all over Africa as well and help in that way. So well done Senegal. I couldn't stress that enough. This is such a great thing to see like our people coming up with that now costing us a lot of money. And you saw the ventilators they also made like it, it would cost a lot of money in the US or anywhere else to be made, but they're making it in Senegal with so much less than that. So this is such a great thing. Well done, Senegal, and I'm very proud of you and hope that you're going to contribute to, as you said, in, to the African, uh, to, other, to the other African countries. And this is going to help us. And instead of waiting for aid and waiting for other countries and other organizations to support us now, our own Senegal is doing this, so kudos. And the other news is about Ghana. Ghana is using drones and um, sending medicine, which is also something to applaud. Like, I am so happy. I am so excited that you guys are doing this. You're achieving this. This thing, I'm telling you, is just a blessing in disguise. Africans are waking up. They're like, we, if we can't import things, why can't we make it? Sanitizers, wow, it's easy to make. Okay, I'll make hand wash. Wow, it's easy to make. I'll make masks. I can just take this cloth and make it and sell it, make a business out of it. It's just made us so creative. The creativity was already there. It just helped us, forced us to act on them. So very nice. Watch the video and come back. Sample volume has increased and now we are getting samples from all over Ghana. Uh, we're very grateful that the Zipline drone service is now in operation. Um, after a couple of test drops, we've actually received the first sample today from Suhum. We're looking forward to receiving uh, samples from wherever Zipline can get the drone to pick up and deliver to us because this will um, speed up 
and facilitate uh, the sample transport and of course the return of the results back to the facilities where the results are needed. So they did that. I'm, I'm really, really proud. Well done, Ghana. Well done, Senegal. Hope to hear more from you guys and more from the rest of the countries within our continent. Can't wait to bring you guys another positive news. Thank you guys for watching. What do you guys think about this? And please, please let me know down below. I will see you on the next one. Stay blessed. Bye.